I take you inside the Low Pro Pro Messenger 200 AW bag. This is a terrific tool for event photographers, photojournalists, shooters on the go. So let's take a peek inside. I hope you saw the companion movie where I explained the basic features of the bag. Now I want to go inside and let's talk about the contents itself. So I'm opening up the bag. You notice it didn't make a lot of noise because I'm using the silent flap, the silent feature. And I have a camera in here. I have a 5D Mark II with a 70-200 f2.8 lens. This is the lens that I shoot with a lot on location. And I have it packed horizontally here inside the bag. Now, when you first get the bag, the dividers will be set up vertically, but you don't have to use them that way. And in fact, the dividers with this bag are very flexible and they allow you to put together a lot of different configurations so you can customize it specifically for your gear. So I'm going to pull out the camera right now. It's easy to work with. I have the lens hood on. I'll go ahead and take that off and just chuck that out of here and get rid of the lens cap because you can't take pictures of the lens cap on. So I can work and put the camera inside and outside of the bag very easily. While I'm on location, the bag rests on my hip and I'm shooting. Now, one question that I get when I show people this configuration is what happens if I want to change lenses or do I even have other lenses? And I do. I'm going to set the camera aside here. Let's go back inside the bag. What I've done is I've created a false bottom. And I have my flash right here. There are two inner pockets that allow you to, to store accessories. I have my flash right here. Go ahead and take that out right now. So I have two false bottoms here. And again, this is talking about how versatile this bag is and how the dividers have all sorts of different hinges and stuff. So let's say that I want to shoot with the 70, with the 24 to 105. Take the 70 to 200 off and put the 24 to 105 on. It's really not a problem, and I can reconfigure the bag to do that very quickly. So I'll take off the 7200 right here. And we will mount the 24 to 105. So I'm in tighter quarters now. I don't need the 70 to 200. What I can do is I can simply just set the 7200 in long ways here. So standing on its nose, there's still plenty of room in the bag to accommodate it. I pull up this flap a little bit here so I have a little bit of padding. I take my flash. I'm just going to put it in one of the other side pockets here. And now my camera with the 24 to 105 fits just fine inside the bag. It's very clever. Now I have another prime lens in here also in the false bottom. So I can go between the 24 to 105 and the 70 to 200 very easily and still have a bag that allows me to work very fast. I just pull open the flap, pull out the camera, take off the lens hood because you can't take shots with the lens hood on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Put the camera right back in. Close the flap. And then, of course, if I'm going to go for a longer haul, I can use the security flap method, and my stuff is very secure inside. So there you have it. And another way to pack the Low Pro Pro Messenger 200 AW. Great for photojournalists who like to use the 7200 lens, but yet like to have a couple other lenses with them, their flash, and some basic accessories. It's a terrific bag. I hope this helps you configure your